Certainly, we cannot claim a magical cure for addiction. The devil which hides in the needle, the pills and the powder, is so deadly strong that any such claim would be foolish. All we can say is that we have found a power that captures a person more strongly than narcotics, but it captures only to liberate. The Ministry of Teen Challenge is here for you. Teen Challenge, Daddy. Do you want Jesus? One step forward. One, two, three. There is a war raging, more serious than geopolitical conflict. a greater threat than radical religious extremism. More serious than cybercrime, mayhem, and terrorism. And it touches us all. In the face of broken dreams, betrayal, violence, poverty, and pain, over 278 million have turned to drugs for escape. At 13, I started with marijuana. At 14, I was doing acid and mushrooms and any kind of psychedelics. At 17, I was hopelessly addicted to cocaine and crack and heroin. There's horse and seashell. Horse tranquilizer. Yeah, horse tranquilizer. We, they use meat tenderizer. There's a whole bunch of chemicals. And what, did you inject it? or? I, I started injecting it. A lot, a lot of people have died. That's why I'm actually scared about it. It's not easy. When I started to take heroin, uh, I didn't have idea that it will take control over my life. By the age of 16, I was experimenting with harder drugs like ecstasy, cocaine when I was 17 years old. And by the time I was 19 years old, I was a full-blown heroin addict with no hope and no future for my life. When I was 10 years old, my brother gave me my first hoot and, and a beer and a cigarette all in the same day, and I was a 10-year-old boy getting drunk is not what should be going on in life. Fathers, mothers, families, daughters and sons trying to bury their despair under a blanket of narcotics. Teen Challenge has a strategy to win that war. Today I have come Say thank you. You gave my son back to me. I am thankful to Teen Challenge for giving my son back. My name is Megara. I'm 16 years old. I started to use her heroin when I was 15 years old. Rejected by her family, she found herself on the street, pregnant and abandoned, when Teen Challenge reached out to her. Giving myself to God was the most important decision in my life. Now I have a real family. <laughs> And it's because of evangelism that miracles like this can happen. Whether it's one person on a street corner or a major outreach with 10, 1,000, or tens of thousands, the good news carried by visionary Teen Challenge workers around the world are bearing a harvest of miracles, and the glory all goes to God. Exciting to be here with uh, Johannes Amritzer and Mission SOS. The guys moving 
I'm selling drugs and 14 and 15. Cocaine, uh, hashish, weed, and uh, crystal meth. Where would you be without Teen Challenge? For sure, I would have been dead and in hell right now. In the hell. Teen Challenge is reaching out to the world with the love of Jesus. From concerts and creative drama to campus outreaches and coffee houses. I came into the Teen Challenge coffee house in Szczecin and I found people there who just wanted to help me. Doors are open to Teen Challenge in nations closed to traditional evangelistic efforts. Innovative Teen Challenge staff are developing ways to engage the community. Centers for empowerment like in Delhi, soccer teams or snowmobile races, demolition derbies or ping pong tournaments. The gospel is being shared and lives are being touched. A key to the mission of Global Teen Challenge to put hope within reach of every addict is a strategy to train leaders. And we were honored to be invited by regional directors to participate in training on five continents in 2015. Three years ago, a Winnipeg man got a chance to live a dream. He won the lottery, making him a millionaire. I won the million dollars in a scratch and win set for life. And apparently set for life is only 13 months and I gave it all up for booze and drugs. Thanks, and right. ended up alone well, in a psychiatric ward. Without Teen Challenge and Jesus Christ, I wouldn't be anywhere, man. I wouldn't be nothing. Christ just delivered me from the depths of despair, and I've never been happier in my life. I mean, never been happier in my life. I was hopeless. I decided to kill myself many times. God's love has changed me. Jesus Christ stop. Hallelujah. I <laughs> In Teen Challenge, I found joy, peace, and, and everything what I was really looking for. Young men and young women are coming from all over Canada. And they're, they're finding hope, they're finding freedom, they're finding purpose and direction in their life at Teen Challenge. Jesus has turned me from a hopeless dope fiend into a dopeless hope fiend. The best thing that happened to me in Teen Challenge Hallelujah. was I met Jesus Christ and He filled me with His love. They told me about Teen Challenge Center uh, where I may go and get to know more God. And I was glad that such a place like that exists. My name is Lubor and I am a miracle. My name is Farrell and I'm a miracle man. I found an identity in Christ. I know who I am and I know whose I am. And I'm a changed man and I'm here to change the world and to bring people who are lost and bound and trapped in addiction into the kingdom of God.